So the vector scope, waveform, RGB parade, what are they and how to use them? Let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Jonathan. Welcome to Nuxtux Creative Studio. And today we'll be talking about, well, the vector scopes, the waveform, and the RGB parade, as well as the histogram inside of Caden Live. So we won't be diving too deep into them, but enough for you to understand them and navigate them with relative ease. Practice is the only thing that's really going to give you a good dominance over it. We'll start with the vector scope. Now the vector scope is mostly used in post-production for audio and video. So we'll be talking about video, so we'll stick to that. The vector scope is presented as a color wheel and it deals with saturation in you. Next, I'll show you how to activate certain guides on the vector scope inside of Caden Live, guides that you may see already activated in other software. Next, we have the RGB parade. And these are basically just waveforms of our image broken down into the red, green, and blue channels. As you know, everything that shows up on a screen is usually made up of these three colors, pixels. Okay, and finally, we have the waveform. The waveform really is a grayscale or luminance scale of our image. It shows you your entire image from left to right, which is your image, but from bottom to top, it is showing you the values within your image. So if we look at this example over here, you can see that I have a white spot over here on the left. And if we look at the waveform, you'll see that over on the left, we have this piece of the graph or waveform here indicating the value of the white spot in the position of it left to right and the value of it from bottom to top. Everything that reaches zero is going to no light and everything that reaches up to 255 in Caden Live's case is reaching a pure white state, right? Pure white light. We also have the histogram, but the histogram only deals with um, shadows, midtones, and highlights on a luminance scale as well. So how do we use these? Let's jump into Caden Live and take a look. So first off, we're going to look at the vector scope. Now with the vector scope, let's go over to the color tab. And at the bottom here on the bottom right, we have vector scope. And the vector scope, as I mentioned, deals with saturation in you, meaning which color and how much of that color is being expressed in our, in our footage, if you will. And it goes from desaturated at the center to fully saturated at the edges of the circle. And then you have the U, which is which color are we looking at? And if you see here the spread on the vector scope, it lets us know that there's a lot of, lot of green in our image and a bit of red magenta. Now, if you right click on the vector scope inside of Caden Live, you will get these other options such as the 75% box, which has to do with broadcasting. So back in the days, TV or televisions had a limited range of colors that they could output. So this was the broadcast safe range. Next, we have the draw axis, which only draws a vertical and horizontal line. So it helps you separate the color wheel, if you will, into quadrants. And next we have the draw I slash Q lines. And with this in other software, you would see them talk about the skin tone line, right? So if you could align your skin tones with this upper left uh, line, then the skin tones would be correct basically next for the vector scope you can also choose the color space but by default or usually you'll be working in a yuv color space and at the top here we also have the paint mode and the background so you can change the overall look but really the information is the same it's whichever helps you find your your way better next we have the histogram now the histogram in Caden live you can see it breaks it down from the red the blue the green uh, the sum of all the values and the luma we can get into that more later, but it's, it's very, very straightforward. It's basic stuff. But for now, we'll focus on the waveform. Now, with the waveform, as I've mentioned, all the way at the bottom, zero is pure black. So there's no light, uh, loss of information, if you will. And all the way at the top, once you start getting flat at 255, you're getting clipping or pure white. So loss of information as well. And in between, you have the sweet range. Now, there are tested and proven ways of going about working on your colors. For example, the, the brightness of skin tones or foliage, they have like standards depending on the scene you're working on. You can do all that research if you want to. We're gonna to stick to the basic, which is simply that we're looking at our image here from left to right, 
So this is our image left to right. And the values are shown from bottom to top. So if we look at our image over here, these areas that go all the way to the bottom, they correspond to the backpack on our character here. And this is essentially because the values are darker, so they show lower on the waveform, but they're still at the correct left and right position. All right, and that is it. And so this was simply a brief, very brief overview of the vector scope, waveform, and RGB parade. I'll be making a more in-depth video into these, but that will be for the color correction video and the color grading video inside of Kaden Live. If you're interested in a couple of presets to help accelerate your workflow when it comes to color grading and color correction inside of Kaden Live, I have uploaded a few presets or templates for the effect stacks. You can find them in Kaden Live. To learn how to install them, I have a video on that. You can find it maybe at one of these top corners here. So if you have any questions, doubts, suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you. This is Nuxtux Creative Studio. My name is Jonathan. I'll see you next time.